Ellen DeGeneres has decided not to have gospel singer Kim Burrell on her program, and many are thinking that it's probably because a video of Burrell speaking about the LGBT community uh, was leaked and went viral recently. Now, in the video, and we don't know when the video was taken or when she made these statements, uh, Burrell said some pretty hideous things about gay people. Um, let me give you just one part of it. She said, everyone in this room who's filled with the homosexual spirit, beg God to free you. You play with it, what does that mean? You die from it. You play with it in God's house in 2017, you'll die from it. She also called gay people uh, perverts later on in the video. Um, now, Ellen DeGeneres was asked repeatedly whether or not she was still going to have uh, Burrell on the program, and here's what she said via Twitter. Um, for those asking, Kim Burrell will not be appearing on my show. That's it. End of story. Now, here's the ironic part about this entire story. Uh, the song that she was going to perform on Ellen's show is from the movie Hidden Figures, which stars Jim Parsons, an openly gay actor, and Taraji P. Henson and Janelle Monet, all of whom have been advocates for homosexual spirits. Uh, so is that like a really great gay drink? I'll have some homosexual spirits, please. I, I bet you it's delicious and a lot of fun. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, so I, I think this is how we get progress, even though it's uncomfortable to ban one another, right? I, I want, it, look, the only thing better in my opinion would be is if she had her on the show, but to talk about this. And if Kim Burrell was okay with that. My guess is yeah. she's not going to be okay with that. Yeah, I think you make a really good point. I don't know whether or not she'd be okay with it. But I think the reason why, and this is just my speculation, so let me be clear. I think the reason why producers and potentially viewers were not interested in having her on is because of her non-apology after this video was leaked. So we have a little snippet of that. She released it on Facebook, so you can check out the full video on her Facebook page. But here's Kim Burrell uh, and her non-apology. Take a look. Don't you all listen to me. Listen to me. Don't you become frazzled. We're not in a war against flesh and blood. We're not in a war with that. Hi to everyone. We're not in a war against flesh and blood. I came on because I care about God's creation. And every person from the LGBT and anything else, any other kind of thing that is supporting gay, I never said LGBT last night. I said S-I-N. And whatever falls under sin was preached. Now what was posted was not all I preached to. But only that. Isn't that something? That is designed of the enemy to make it look like I have a personal agenda against people. Okay, so just to clarify what she's saying, it's what you hear it from a lot of religious people after they get criticized for saying hideous things about the gay community. Uh, I don't hate the sinner, I hate the sin. Right. Yeah. That's the it's gobbledygook. They talk in circles, all religious people do, from almost all the religions. No, from all the religions. To justify uh, you, you know, the, this uh, insane uh, hypocrisy that they've been taught. So, okay, uh, I'm not against blood, uh, flesh and blood. So, you're a gay person, I, I'm not against you. I just think that you live in sin and that you're going to die soon from uh, that sin that you bathe in. Anyways, what, what, what? Why are you all upset? I don't get why you're upset. Right? And, and um, okay, you're, it's, Oh my God, this voodoo drives me crazy. All right, Kim Burrell has been brainwashed, like most religious people have been brainwashed, into a set of laws that make no sense, and, and they ignore the parts of their books that are inconvenient. So Kim Burrell, have, you want to talk about all of it? She's like, oh, why, did, why did my enemies or the devil or whatever voodoo she thinks in her head uh, pick that part and focus on that? You know, when I was talking about all sin. Were you, Kim? Were you talking about all sin? We were talking about how your clothing's made out of two different cloths, so you're going to burn in hell. I didn't say it. Your God said it. It's in the book. Read the Bible. Uh, did you talk about shellfish and s shrimp and lobster? And have you ever eaten it? Because you're going to burn in hell. I mean, I love you, sister. I love you, right? I'm not talking about flesh and blood. I'm just talking about the sin that you live in. You're going to die from that, and then God will torture you forever in hell because you ate shrimp. It's in the book. I didn't make it up. Your God made it up. So either quote the whole book or shut the fuck up. Because you go around spreading hate against people and then pretend like, what, what, me, 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 I don't know. Oh, no, no, you, why are you only quoting the parts of the book 
against certain people. Now you think Kim Burrell came up with that? I'm going I'm to go over the top. I don't think she's bright enough to come up with that on her own because she does the same gobbledygook all these brainwashed people do. And then I, I love the sinner, but I hate the sin, but I hate, yeah, but I'm judging you, judging, 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 judging based on who you are and you're filled with this and you're filled with that. So, no, your religious leaders, they do it in all the religions, fill your head with, okay, these are the people that are the outsiders and we hate them. And it used to be that if you got divorced, you were in that group. Oh, God hates divorce. If you were in an right. interracial marriage. Interracial marriage. God hates interracial marriage. They justified slavery with it. By the way, slavery is in the Bible. Read the book. Okay, read the book. It's in the Quran. It's in the Bible. It's in all these different things. Okay, so when it was needed to justify hatred, as it is today, they always do it. Right. So, and they always selectively quote it because there are also wonderful parts of the Bible, wonderful parts of the Quran, uh, uh, and and the Torah and all that stuff. There's also bad parts that it's inconvenient, so we don't quote the divorce anymore. Why? Because now everybody's divorced. So that's that's it's harder to hate your neighbor. I mean, I mean we're all good Christians here, but we all got divorced, so we're just going to ignore that part of the Bible, right? But gay people, we're still allowed to hate. But we're on the border now because it turns out. My nephew's gay, and I didn't know that. And I, and you know, my daughter turned out to be gay. So maybe I'm going to switch that hate to someone else, like maybe somebody from a different religion or a different color, right? So, because I, I gotta hate, my religious leaders t tell me to hate. I gotta hate. So, but don't blame me. What are you blaming me for? The devil's under attacking me. So. You're angry, um, and I understand that rage, but there's also a silver lining to this story, right? Mm -hmm. Because after a year of some of the worst statements coming out of our now president-elect and people defending him over and over again for saying those things, it's refreshing to see someone get criticized for saying something hideous about a group of people, right? Yeah. And so. Everyone, the online community, you know, the producers of the Ellen Show, everyone is denouncing these statements, and it, it's hopefully, eventually, a teachable moment for Burrell. It's hopefully, eventually, a teachable moment for anyone who believes this kind of stuff. And by the way, if you watch the video that got leaked, um, everyone in the audience or everyone who's listening to her is like, yes, yes, like everyone's agreeing with her. And so she's in that bubble. She's in that bubble. So she probably didn't expect to ever get this kind of criticism for what she's saying. So you're right, yes, it's it's part of religious brainwashing, it's part of the bubble that she's in, and she's a gospel singer, okay? She grew yeah. up in that bubble, she works in that bubble, she lives in that bubble. I'm not making excuses for her, I'm just saying that this is a teachable moment, and luckily there are still people out there who want to fight for those who are disenfranchised. So, uh, Kim, uh, we won't ban you from the show. You come on and you explain to me if you've ever eaten any kind of shellfish, okay? And then, no, 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 I'm being dead serious. If anyone, anyone talks about how being gay is a sin, I ask them if they've ever eaten shrimp, because if they have, it is an equal sin in the Bible. Do you believe the Bible or do you not believe the Bible? Go sing a song about shrimp, why don't you do that? Because you have been brainwashed to hate and you don't even know it. If you want to see this happen, donate three bucks, twenty bucks, twenty-seven bucks, whatever you can afford. You know that if everybody that's watching this video donated right now, we could stop the fundraising because we'd have enough. So go to tytnetwork.com/go. We'll wait while you make the donation. Thank you for doing it and for building a great new journalism team. And thanks for watching.